Information overload. Uh, good day, friends. It's been a while since I recorded the video for YouTube and past two weeks I've been learning to play saxophone and throughout this journey of mine with the saxophone now and I've been, as many of you know, playing guitar my whole life. I've heard a few of the points uh, from saxophone instructors from the videos that I watched on YouTube and Udemy things that I repeat in the same industry. And then I came to a conclusion that basically all people, no matter what they're trying to do, they're trying to find that perfect course, uh, perfect uh, magic wand that's gonna just get them to some, you know, place in, uh, in no time, right? Uh, as I've said many times, such place, uh, such thing doesn't really exist. And I can tell you that after two weeks of very good progress with saxophone, I'm already playing songs. It's actually not even two weeks, 11 days. I've applied pretty much what I was always saying, discipline, I, I found one or two resources, uh, I created some plan and I was sticking to it and I can already see the results after only 11 days. Um, I think that all of us today are prone, we are, um, we are the uh, victim of uh, information overload, we have so much access to so many information so much information and uh, it's, it's, it's hard, right? I mean, you start something, I can see it on my YouTube videos, I've seen it on other people's statistics on their videos. You have no patience, uh, uh, your, your attention span is very low and this really leads to failure really in anything today. I mean, I, I genuinely believe with ChatGPT, with Bard, with uh, Gemini, with, with all of these free resources online, with this channel, you can learn. I mean, you're getting knowledge for free like never before. It's incredible. I mean, I bought a saxophone course on uh, Udemy for $10. That thing would have costed, I don't know, thousands of dollars a decade or two ago, you know, or three decades ago, because you have a professional PhD instructor teaching you music. How incredible is that, right? So anyway, uh, going back to information overload. So essentially, uh, a lot of us, a lot of you, I, let's just say us, are seeking for that secret, seeking for how do I learn programming in three seconds and make $100,000 starting salary a year, right? That's, that's ridiculous, right? Uh, really, what you need to do and what you need to uh, battle against is exactly switching resources, switching context all the time. As I said before in many of my streams, find the course that you like, find the instructor that you like. It doesn't have to be the best instructor, it can be a mediocre instructor. Some of the lessons that uh, that person doesn't maybe explain well to your own understanding, to your own, the, the, the way that your brain works, you know, it's fine. You know, we cannot, there's no course out there that's gonna make every lesson perfect. Pause, go find some other explanation of the same subject on YouTube, Google, Stack Overflow, whatever, understand it, and then go back and continue the course. Of course, as with saxophone, as with guitar, as with any practical skills, and programming is a practical skill, you just have to build. It's a huge discipline that you have to develop, and you have to spend a lot more time building, and coding, and failing, and fine-tuning, than actually watching someone else do it, right? Mimicking others is not gonna help you. And again, I've this video came as a result of my saxophone journey past 12 days, and it was incredible. And I really, really genuinely applied exactly what I'm saying here. I just said, hey, I know from my 25 years journey of guitar that if I want to uh, prog progress fast, I just need to play. These can be notes, I can just, play long notes, I can play them really slow, I'm gonna turn on a metronome and then gonna speed up, you know, as I get better. And you can take that same metaphor and apply it to programming. Just write, you know, build small things, you know, clicking on buttons, printing something to console, regardless of what your skill level is, if you're learning something more complicated then, you know, but just do it, do, do it and do it. And, and then, you know, just watch a little bit of something, pause it and just, do the work. Uh, stop seeking for, uh, you know, magic. Stop, stop seeking for a course that doesn't exist, uh, the resource that's just gonna make you a professional in, in five seconds. Programming is hard, as I said many times. It takes many years to master. Maybe well, it's actually questionable if you can ever master it because it just keeps on growing and expanding and changing. So, yeah, just do things. Build up a discipline. Don't s switch context, switch different resources, focus on one curriculum and then, you know, 
find videos, find better videos of, of those that you might didn't understand well, or maybe the author didn't explain well. And I guarantee you that you're going to see massive results. Anyway, I'm going to go play my saxophone now. I wish you guys best and uh, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.